Based in Phoenix, Arizona, Zipper Tubing is a market leader in wraparound cable jacketing used in automotive and aerospace industries. As demand for Zipper Tubing's thermal management products increased, the fourth generation family owned company started researching whether they could integrate robots on their production line. And we were having a hard time bringing in workers who could produce those parts reliably, quickly, and with the precision that we need. We chose Universal Robots specifically for a few reasons. We were first looking at the versatility. The parts that we produce, they can change from month to month. We want something that is going to be easy to understand, easy to do ourselves. We are looking at safety, was a very important concern of ours, and then also was cost. We wanted something that uh, we could integrate ourselves. That would save us a lot of money. So the biggest benefit we found with this robotic cell is that our product quality really has improved. With the robot itself, we can specify 300% more tolerance on our parts than we can when we have a manual operation. The other benefit is that our customers are seeing this improvement as well. Since implementing this robot, we've had zero returns for this snap set process on this part. The other benefit is we've been able to reduce production labor by 32% for these specific parts. To implement this robot, the first thing I did is I reached out to Seth, our imposition representative. My obvious fear is that the universal robots are a robot, a robotic cell that is difficult to program and work with, and I had no experience doing that. You know, my background is chemical engineering. He gave me a quick demo, and it looked pretty straightforward. I went through some of the online training that Universal Robots has. Then they gave us the cell. We had the, their training guy come out, and he taught us how we can do some of the, the programming tricks. But then it was kind of, we're off to the races. We're on our own. Biggest challenge was, how do we pick a part up? And there's a lot of cool training stuff on the website in position helped us out to figure out you know, the, the built-in D-Stack program. So we have the part picked up, now we need to snap it. That was very simplistic. That's a simple latch lever. So we just wired that up to a relay. And we implemented a vision system into the robots. The really tricky part was how do I get the robot to talk to the camera and who's in charge? So learning about the universal robots, we actually were able to make that essentially our PLC. So the robot is the brain. It, it sends out all the commands and it takes in all the feedback. The big next step is the risk assessment. We want to make sure that a person can't hurt themselves. Most of our applications with universal robots are uh, pretty much handled by the customers. We're able to spend usually about a day with them teaching them the robot and uh, from there they're able to kind of go and iterate on their own designs and uh, design the cell. If this had been a traditional industrial robot it would have been much more difficult for our customer to implement it by themselves. Bringing in the universal robot has really allowed us a lot of flexibility. We wanted to have something that we could quickly change out tool heads to accommodate different parts. So we ended up going with the millibar tool changer that we found on the UR Plus website. The benefit is the quick changeability and the adaptation of the tool head itself. We want to even look further to other operations that the universal robot can handle. Specifically, we want to do sewing. And for that operation, it's going to be a little bit more difficult because we're going to want to do snaps and sewing with the same robot, with the same tool. But I think we'll be able to get the sewing project figured out. Our zipper tuning family extends to Asia and Europe as well. Our Asia facility is totally manual. And they'd like us to build them some of these robotic cells to help them meet their production demands as well.